Hey guys, it's Michael. Welcome back to a new video on my YouTube channel. This will be one of the most important videos that I will ever upload on this channel. So definitely stay tuned for the video after the intro. In this video, I want to talk about the three form conventions that we need to really make sure that every athlete out there can train lever skills with a good quality. In every sport out there, let it be powerlifting, weightlifting, there are conventions defined where every athlete, coach, trainer can measure if an execution is good or not good and to make the movements comparable. In calisthenics, we don't have those conventions yet. In our King of Weighted Coaching, we defined ones for the lever skills so we can really teach our clients to detect if they have compensation movements, if the form is good, if the form is bad. And today in this video, I want to teach you these conventions so you can do the same and you in the future will know if your form in lever skills is good or bad and why. Let's start with form convention number one for lever skills. And that is the body needs to be stabilized in one line perpendicular to gravity. And why is that true and why is it important? Only if we stabilize perpendicular in one line against gravity, we apply the biggest possible leverage to the lever skill and the form of the skill. So it's important to always look at being perpendicular to gravity and have the body in one line because only then we have max leverage and only then we have the final and so the clean form. Rule number two for lever skills or form convention number two for lever skills is that all joints that are placed perpendicular to gravity need to be stabilized as actively as possible against gravity. That means if gravity pulls the joint down, you stabilize it up. If gravity pulls your shoulders into protraction, you pull it into retraction. So you always need to stabilize the joint that is placed perpendicular to gravity as actively as possible. Rule number three or form convention number three for lever skills, especially true for straight arm lever skills, is that all relevant extremities are held in a stretched out position. What do I mean with relevant? Of course, we will have um, progressions like tuck front levers, tuck planches, tuck flags, straddle flags, whatever. So you can never have all joints in a stretch position. And that's why we say all relevant extremities need to be stretched out to achieve, again, full leverage and the most clean form possible. Now that you've understood all three form conventions or form rules, you should also be able to transfer that knowledge to all other lever skills, like planches, back levers, flags, or whatever you are training at the moment. Because these conventions, they apply to all lever skills. And with this, you now can just apply rule one, two, and three, and really see where do you have compensations, which are the areas you need to stabilize more, which are maybe the form cues that your client needs to make more progress. And if you need help with that, then just let me know in the comments if you want us to analyze your form constantly, to teach you how to progress with all lever skills, with weighted calisthenics, with also aesthetics training, then make sure to schedule your free consulting call for our online coaching because in there we can help you with all that and teach you even more than these free form conventions for lever skills. So yeah, subscribe and like as always and see you in the next video.